right. <laughs> Especially this week. Oh, okay. Let's talk to Eric about story. the weather. Yeah, let's talk about the weather because tomorrow looks like a fabulous day. It was well-timed ice pack giveaway night at Fenway Park. <laughs> Good job. Owners have really owned it tonight. 72 degrees in Boston, a nice summer evening in the city. It was a great night for baseball and uh, an interesting evening at Fenway Park. Temperatures in the 60s in the suburbs. It will be very comfortable tomorrow morning when we wake up. High pressure building in from the west. A cold front that is bringing in that drier air is also pushing Gert out to sea, which means we'll see improved conditions at our beaches tomorrow. The next system that we're watching is across the Midwest. That's going to bring us some rainfall as we head into the day on Friday. Before that happens, an excellent day tomorrow. Again, cool start. Sun rises at 5.50. Three, lots of sunshine out there, very low humidity, temps in the 70s at lunchtime. We just top 80 degrees tomorrow afternoon. So right on target for this time of the season, except in August, you expect the humidity. We don't have to deal with it. Sunset at 741. So highs near 82 in Boston and Rockport. Some upper 70s, the higher elevations of Central Mass and 70s to around 80 degrees for Martha's Vineyard, Nantucket and Cape Cod. And in terms of the beach conditions, those wave heights are going to be much lower. There still could be a few rip currents out there. So if you're getting in the water, so keep an eye on it. And if there's any postings there, flags on the beach indicating it's unsafe to swim, always want to follow those guidelines, but the wave heights definitely dropping off. You can see the higher waves have moved their way offshore, well to the east. Then we head into Friday, and with that system moving in, a lot of cloud cover expected, mostly cloudy skies, and some scattered showers and downpours are going to be likely on and off throughout the day. So kind of damp outside, humidity starts to increase, not expecting severe weather. In fact, there might not be much in the way of thunder, just a couple showers and downpours moving across. In terms of the humidity, dry tomorrow. By Friday morning, those dew points starting to climb by Friday evening, quite soupy. Dew points will be closer to 70. But humidity won't stick around for too long. It'll be here Friday afternoon, Friday night, and into Saturday before dropping. So for Cape Cod and the islands, tomorrow's the beach day. Friday, grayer, few showers around. And Saturday, a pop-up shower and some fog will be likely. I don't think Saturday's a washout, though. This front will slowly be moving across the area. A couple of pop-up showers or thunderstorms possible on Saturday. But outdoor plans look OK, especially in western New England. I think the front will be through those locations. Then on Sunday, we're firmly in the drier, warm air. Great summer day. And again, a really nice beach day. We'll be well up into the 80s. The humidity will fall back on Sunday. And again, if you're worried about Saturday plans, there will be hit or miss in nature, a couple of pop-up showers or storms. Nothing you can really plan around except for the chance of rain that'll be out there. Then we move to Monday, eclipse day across the country. Looking great here in New England. We get a partial eclipse. I think we'll have mostly sunny skies. That, dar that darker line is the line of totality across the country. And for most locations, right now, it's looking pretty good. Some clouds across the upper Midwest, some clouds across Texas. But I think many are going to be pretty happy with the weather on Eclipse Day. Around here, it peaks at 2.46 in the afternoon. So here's the seven-day outlook. Monday will be warm in the 80s, mostly sunny skies. We make it run at 90 on Tuesday. Very hot out there. And Wednesday, some storms. That's going to be a strong cold front that ushers in some sharply cooler air for the second half of next week. David and Paula, back to you. Something for everyone. Hmm. All right, Eric, thanks.